Hi everybody! Um, so this is just kind of a follow-up video from mine yesterday about um, trying to lose weight and starting the shake allergy today. So for breakfast I did have um, the chocolate shake allergy and it was it was pretty good. I, I don't know what I thought it was gonna taste like but I didn't think it was gonna be like real tasty but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad at all um, I just did mine basic with water and ice and there are like a ton of recipes to make them different but I just went with the basics I wanted to just know what it tasted like plain so not bad at all um, I would say the price is my biggest concern still I just think I don't know I'm just a thrifty person and I feel like it's a little much but I'm trying to let it go. I really am trying to let it go. Um, but anyways, I went to the gym for an hour today. I went on a hike with my boyfriend for quite some time. And like so far I have almost 15,000 steps for the day, which is more than I normally have. Usually I get, I try to get at least 10,000 a day. Um, at work I'm usually all over the place. So usually getting at least close to 10 is not hard. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm over 15,000 at this point and I'm just off work today. So I figured why not put a little extra effort into this? So I did that. Um, and then I've already had a couple of people message me and ask me what brought you to the point of trying Shakeology. So here's the thing. I've been overweight for a very long time. I don't even remember actually a time where I was like at a weight where I was good with it um, since I was like really little. So I've been up and down, up and down. But my highest weight was almost 300 pounds. And that's so like it bothers me to say that because it's one of those things where you don't think it just happens. It's like you don't even realize where you're at and all of a sudden boom. But it was after my car accident. I was in a really bad car accident and uh, I was on a lot of medications. I could barely move and so I gained a ton of weight and I was about 300 pounds. So this was in the end of 2009, beginning of 2010. So now we're in 2017. I am now range between like 230 and 240. So I did lose a quite a bit of weight. Um, and how I did that was working out not very consistent to be honest with you but luckily because my my job is so busy at least i do get my steps in usually um but then i was doing smoothies and i still intend on probably throwing those in the mix um but mostly they were like kale or spinach and then fruit um and they're, they're pretty decent i mean most of them are some of them are a little more green um, but yeah, for the most part, that is how I lost the weight. And there's a book that I have, that I had gotten all the recipes from. Um, so I can share that with you too, if you're interested. But, um, anyways, so I, I lost a good chunk of weight and then I'm still now I'm kind of stuck between 230 and 240. I go back and forth, back and forth. And I'm like, I'm going to the gym. I've been going to the gym fairly consistent. Um, so I'm trying to be better with that, trying to do it every single day. And I just like... I'm out of energy though with working out and, and going to work and trying to just have a, a life in general, I'm exhausted. So I'm like, you know what, if Shakeology will boost, you know, my weight loss, let's, let's just try it and my energy, then, you know, let's just do it. So that is why. And another key thing, um, that some of the people closest to me know, um, but I've been dealing with precancerous cells of like in my uterus, cervix and whatnot for quite some time. It's It's been a, a battle, I would say. Um, when I was about 18, I had a cyst on my ovary. So that's where it all started. And then for sure by the time I was like 21, I had gotten, you know, a physical done. The pap smear came back that there was precancerous cells. Scariest thing. It's like they, they throw that around like it's not a big deal. Like, oh, precancerous cells, like it's not cancer, but it's it, either way you put the word cancer in there and it's getting a little serious, right? So I have been through so many procedures and so much crap to try to get this under control, right? Um, and then a doctor, and I have a really good gynecologist. She is like 
the best, but it goes up and down. Like I get rid of the cells and then I get them back and I get rid of them. So literally since I've been about 21, I've been going back and forth with this. And now being 32, I'm thinking about babies more and all of those things. And it freaks me out. Cause I'm like, what if I can't have kids? What if, you know, what if this has been such an issue and then I can't. So um, just like, let's see, February, I think it was, I had another physical done. It came back that I had the precancerous cells again in my cervix and uterus. And I, you know, I had to go get the, the biopsy and all that crap done. It's disappointing is what it is. It's very disappointing because I try to be very healthy. Um, I mean, I know that I'm overweight, but as far as, you know, everything, I try to be super aware of things. Um, I don't really have any other major health issues other than like my back pain from my car accident. Other than that, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Um, but my doctor said to me, my gynecologist, she was like, you know, being heavier can cause precancerous cells to form more often than not. And, um, the more weight that you have on you, the more chances you have those cells turning into cancer cells. So then I'm like really listening. I'm like, well, geez, I wish, I wish she would have said that sooner because it made things a little more real for me. Um, so now I was at this crossroad of, I, I have to do something to try to get these cells to go away and whatnot. So first thing is if she's telling me that weight, weight loss is going to help, then I'm on it. You know, I, I need to need to be on it. Cause I don't want that to be the reason, you know, that I can't have kids or whatnot later on. So weight loss is key. And then I also had to pick, um, kind of like a, it, there was tons of medications I could go on, but she said they all made you sick or you could be on, um, certain birth controls, um, or like an IUD situation. So I picked Mirena, the IUD, only because it seemed the less, the least of risks, I guess, but still is terrifying to me that you have a foreign object in your like cervix and, and uterus and whatnot. That like the whole thing just freaks me right out. So anyways, I went, got that in painful. I don't care what they say. Like, Oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's just going to be a little pinch bullshit. Uh, it hurts. So I don't know who would regularly get that done? I feel like maybe it's different for different people, but that is, it's uncomfortable. So I have that now and I would say I can feel that it's there. Even though it's up in, in you, it's like you just know that it's there and it, it can be uncomfortable. So anyways, I have to have that for six months total. I'm trying to think of when I got it, but it's only been like a, maybe a month. I think I got, well, yeah, about a month. So once six months is up, I can go get another biopsy done of my uterus. If everything is okay and the cancerous cells, the precancerous cells are gone, then I can get it taken out. And the doctor suggests that I like start having, trying to start having babies right away is what she's kind of thinking because we keep going back and forth, right? So anyways, if anybody else has the Mirena IUD, I am really curious to, if you have, you know, do you have problems with it? Do you, does it hurt you? Uh, side effects? I don't know. I've had a few people tell me that they've had it actually puncture through their uterus. Terrifies me. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is what I picked out of the choices I had because I thought it was the least risky. And then I hear these stories from people close to me and I'm like... Oh geez, did I pick the right thing? I don't know. So anyways, we'll see, but I'll keep you updated on that too. So that's going to be happening fairly soon here. Um, biopsy and whatnot. I will keep you up to date on my weight loss, the shake allergy. I'll keep you up to date on that. Um, I'm curious. I'm going to go the whole week. Um, and then I'll probably do kind of like a review thing towards the end of the week of like, did I lose weight? How did I feel? You know, with the whole deal, did it give me more energy and all that kind of stuff? Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, yeah, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Um, 
I'm sitting here in the Meyer parking lot looking crazy <laughs> to the people sitting in the car next to me um, because it's raining like crazy and I don't want to get out of the car so I thought I'd do a video real quick um, but anyways yeah so I will keep you updated um, comment if you have any tips on anything that helped you with weight loss or if you had the Mirena IUD I am super curious um, if there was any tricks to making it more comfortable. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's the craziest thing, but let me know. All right. See ya.